So hello, we are in a market, wet market. I'll put the uh, details and the address here later. And um, I'm trying out the new Osmo extension rod for the Osmo Pocket. I'm actually using it more like a handheld um, tripod than anything at the moment, but uh, just trying out this market. I haven't really been in here before. I had a nice conversation just now that I don't know if I recorded, so we'll find out when we get home, I guess. Let's go and have a look around. So I've never been in here. I've been I've lived in Johor ten years. I've been driving oh, in more than ten years. I've been driving past this place for various reasons ever since the first day we got here, pretty much. But I've never been in here. Recently, I've got pet shop in here. Pet food. Her telephone shops are always a thing here. Massive. Massive business telephone shops. I try to do most, I'm not going to do all of this, it just takes too long, but I try to do a lot of it. Your you clothes, your jeans, your denims. And then got bags over here. Bags and sunglasses, always a thing. And gold. Everyone loves their gold. Everyone loves to get the gold. So, this place is huge. Right, we've got your electronics. Let's go right the way down through this way. I was talking to one of the guys earlier and he told me that pretty much all the fish from here comes from out by Pontian, so if that's true, and this is just obviously one market, I mean that's a bounty being caught out there, but you have to wonder how long it's sustainable for if that's, this is just one market. Beautiful looking fish. Absolutely beautiful. Travel agents. I know how they survive with the uh, internet now. It's a destroyed travel agents business. As you can see, very, very busy. Doing that whiskey thing, so basically people getting their own food. We'll go down by the meats just to make sure we got it before. The meats and the fish. Doubly sure we got it because I think I've already done this, but I just want to make sure. There you can see you got your fish, you got your meat. Strung up. And these guys are cutting it for you to order, take what you want, cut here and there. I've got to say, I've been in a lot of these kind of markets in the past. Okay, money, that, money, money. that looks like lung to me. I don't know if that's lung, it probably looks like lung. And then you've got these lovely fish, these fish are from Pontian. You see a massive selection, absolutely beautiful selection of fish. Beautiful and fresh. Got like mackerel there. Mackerel stuff. We've got nice big juicy prawns. All fresh. I mean this place, I'll be totally honest, doesn't smell all fishy. Hello friend. Doesn't smell all fishy. Hey brother. So, check it out.
<laughs> All the girls are going to love you boys. Alright, so plenty of meat. Everyone's friendly. Yeah, this guy is moving out of fame. And then here, you got the really fresh fish. I'm still swimming around. Hi, how you doing? And you can see, look at these lovely fresh vegetables. Beautifully presented, very fresh looking. All you could want. Hey brother. The size of those bloody carrots. The carrots, the carrots are as big as the cucumbers. Something else. Look at that, very fresh, long beans. Never seen them till I came here. Hey. You got your ginger and various fruit vegetables. Can't remember what those things are called. My wife will know. And then we got more meat here, and it's a big meat cutting block. You can see that's um wouldn't kind of pass health and safety in the UK. So it's your meat and they'll cut it all down for you. Hey brother. So you just choose your piece and they'll Sixteen. Five. Five. One five. One kilo. Okay. Big juicy fish. Look at this. Beautiful fish. So beautiful. Thank you. Wow. Big fish. Big fish. Thank you. You can see this place is absolutely heaving with people. Look, today is uh, Saturday, it's your coconuts, just a few. So I'm just trying out the stick, um, the extension rod. And now you've got the kind of bit more cleaner looking if you're just a bit uh, unsure. You like to see it for a freshly packaged like you would in the West. Well, I promise you the stuff that's here is probably better than you get in the West because it's fresh. Most of this stuff comes in today and is out today. And you've got a big supermarket here, Midas Mart. Hi guys. There's your information there. So yeah, there's stuff here. I mean, you still see it and it doesn't look as like you'd expect it to see in the west, you know, it's not as clean and sparkly and shiny but it also isn't super processed, most of the food here is fresh fresh vegetables, fresh meat, fresh fish and then it'll go home and it'll be cooked tonight in a restaurant or homes and believe me, quality is great food, really good food I don't know what my camera's doing, it's kind of doing its own thing I haven't got to grips with this yet, that's for sure To have crushed my strings. So you can see, I mean, this place has pretty much everything. It's just not as well packaged as like your local supermarket. That's the only difference, really. It's the same things. Packaged in a different way. Feeler shirts here for ten ring it. Championship. I mean, obviously they're not real, but ten ring it is less than two pounds for a shirt. T-shirts for eight ring it. Can't go wrong. Very slay. It's quite embarrassing walking around with a camera pointing at people and talking to yourself. There's another jewelry place. Gold is a big thing here. Got a lot of Indians here as well, obviously they like to collect gold. The Chinese like gold. I'm guessing the Malays like gold as well, why wouldn't they? Furniture shops. I think see it's pretty much got everything in here. Here's where you get your DVD still. And 
no, they won't be. Uh, yes, I mean, yes, they will be dodgy, pirated, if you like. But usually, the quality is pretty good. If it's not, most of these places, if you get your DVD home and it's not good quality, you just take it back. And that's what happens. No one really cares. They're all trying to look after you because they know that if they look after you, you'll be back. You can see it's a huge market. Absolutely huge. Very busy. Everyone doing their thing. But you'll you all have your imaginations as to what countries are like. You all kind of read the media where you live, or you maybe even never heard of Malaysia or know where it is. I know that 12 years ago, if you'd asked me to point to Malaysia on a map, I wouldn't have been able to, oh, 12, 13 years ago, I wouldn't have been able to count to point to it on a map, even though I had been to both Thailand and Singapore, and Malaysia's between the two of them. It's just not very good at marketing himself, itself. And then, you know, all the fuss and brouhaha about um, religion and stuff, well, everybody here is as nice as can be. I'm not saying there's no not jobs here, but there's not jobs in every country you go to. And most of the people I find here friendly, willing to talk, and nice people. So, we've done a quick look through. Can't do this forever. This guy's enjoying his cigarette. My camera doesn't want to follow him, which is fair enough. It's got sense. So, there you go. This is uh, the market. Oh, I think we're done. Let's uh, head for home. We'll do a quick look outside just to make sure that we know where it is. Okay, should be quite the other side as well. And there's the smart cat that's coming in for the food. So there you go, that's it. And this is where we parked on the outside of this lot.